what can students in clerkship do now during rotations to help make them more employable and more competitive compared to their other uh, colleagues? One thing I recommend um, that everybody keep in mind is every rotation is a prolonged interview. Every single day that you come in, you are being assessed, you are being evaluated. And you, that, that goes um, for your demeanor, how you are speaking to the patients, how you speak to your colleagues, how you approach difficult scenarios, how you approach with disappointments. Um, for instance, I've had students who've spent more than an hour, two hours prepping up a patient, but the patient became ill and never showed up to the appointment. I've had people get extremely disappointed and make comments such as, oh, well, they're, th that was a waste of two hours. And that, to me, is very disappointing because this individual ended up in ER not by choice. Of course, there's something happening. Um, as opposed to individuals who still use that as a learning experience and say, well, at least I got to learn about something and are willing to still discuss the case, whether or not they might be, uh, they might be able to see that patient or not. So being open to different experiences that might happen, being open to learning opportunities that arise, being open to uh, uh, switching clinics if uh, the plan doesn't work out. For instance, during September, we have our Canadian and American Radiation Oncology Conferences, so a lot of the clinics are canceled, sometimes rescheduled, and we don't have the same kind of patient load. Some days are easier, and some days we're swamped with new consults. Um, so being flexible and allowing the flow of things to go as that's real life. Real life doesn't go according to plan. Most of my days aren't 9 to 5, and if you're a student in this rotation, most of your days aren't going to be 9 to 5. I appreciate students who take the initiative um, to want to work up the new patients that you're going to see. If you don't show me initiative, then I don't want to go that extra 10 steps to make sure you excel. You, students have to take the first step for me to take that step towards you. Um, if I get a feeling that you just want to do the bare minimum of seeing a follow-up patient, presenting, dictating, and leaving on time, then I understand that as your learning objective, and that's how I'll approach your rotation. And I feel like this extends to every rotation you go to. You want to show initiative, you want to ensure that you're putting in the extra effort that's required, because all you have are those four to six weeks to make a lasting impression. If that individual, that place, or the group of physicians is hiring down the line, all they have are those four weeks to judge you and assess you by. You could be an excellent individual out of, outside of that, but it, they don't know about it. All they know are those four weeks. So make those the best possible four weeks. I understand PA school is hard. It's, it's tiresome. It's 12 months. It feels like it never ends. You miss family events, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, funerals. Don't, you know, it seems like nobody cares about any of that. But fortunately or unfortunately, you just have these 12 months to make a mark. Um, how should they approach getting references uh, if they're looking at jobs? Should they be waiting until um, they're graduated? Or is this a proactive uh, process they can take now? Be proactive. If you've had a really good experience at a rotation that you potentially want to apply down the line, or you think that the experience has taught you something um, that you can use in future job employment opportunities, make sure you approach your primary preceptor at the end of the rotation and ask what the best way for you to get in touch with them um, is if, if you want them to be your reference. For instance, if you've done a rotation with me in winter and you haven't approached uh, me about you using this rotation as a reference, I might forget that. We have a lot of medical students, uh, elective medical students, residents, visiting fellows, PA students rotating through, and that happens at pretty much every academic institution you go to. They have a high turnover, and you can't expect everybody to remember you. Um, the best thing to do is ask them what their approach is. In the past, I have been comfortable with providing a reference within a week or two when things are still extremely fresh in my mind. I, I date it accordingly. If those individuals go for an employment opportunity and they want to use um, an updated reference, they will reach out to me again, but at least I have the original reference letter I wrote, which helps refresh some of the memories. I can go through the evaluations. 
and then I can do a more updated reference. So my recommendation is if you have an extremely excellent experience and you want to hold on to that, ask them what the best method is. There might be some individuals who say, well, just shoot me an email with your name, your credentials, and your updated resume, and let me know if, if you need my reference by the end of the year. And th those individuals just like to do it later on or just do it once. Whatever your preceptor thinks is the best, uh, best idea, but let them know so it's on their radar. Hi, I'm Maitri and I'm a Radiation Oncology Physician Assistant. Um, I'm a McMaster Physician Assistant Program graduate from class of 2014.